Hey, welcome to this new vlog. Uh, this time, this time I will, guys, I will show you. Uh, I, will, I will share to you, show you uh, yeah, something really new. I really, I really fall in love with sound founds. You know what sound found is? Is the kind of file with SF2 extension. So you load that in a VST that read the sound found. Uh, that read the sound found, just like a footy sound found player, for example. Uh, fruity sound fun player, you know, you know that the little guy is, is this is a synthesizer that reads sound fun file with the SF2 extension. So example, air do my first sound found. I get a load of sound fun extension, uh, sound fun, uh, that extension, sound fun file, with drums, uh, example, okay, I have a load some, uh, tambura for mula, I really love this one, so I can play with that. So. So this one is really cool for that. Um, sound found this is uh, to explain a little bit. Sound found guys. Uh, to explain a little bit. Sound found guys. It's, it's uh, instruments and patch and pattern. Not pattern. Instruments and uh, a lot of things like um, instruments created from samples of the real instruments, just like general MIDI wavetable you use to read the midi dot mid files we found on the internet. So uh, the only way general midi like the, you know, probably you see that on uh, my Metallica rig with using the LSD plugin for drums. But than that, you can do your own SF2 file. Uh, your own SF2 file to create your own sound found. And sound found is really compatible with the, um, Mac and PC and everything use every DAW they use as well as uh, you know <laughs> as well as Cubase as well as FL Studio they use uh, okay FL Studio use um, Soundfound player for that so I create my own Soundfound I'm really interested how to recreate it and I create my own Soundfound using a software called uh, Freeware called um, Vienna editor sound found. So you can import your own sample and create your own instrument and map it on the on the keyboard just like this one. So so I created Yamaha DX set the seven bass for a, create a kit a kit for as well for the new wave people and as well for new wave maker as well as met metal. So I create. Uh, in some found uh, fruit, uh, create a yeah, BGLA DX7 base. That's really you play on the range from the C3 to B4 range on the keyboard. So, and for the rest, it doesn't matter. So don't don't really be surprised that a lot of key does not function. It was only started up to B4 to C3 and not other range. Okay. And sometimes when you load the uh, really important when you load the sound found, check, click there and check is there preset. Sometimes it doesn't load the real preset, the red bank or number or real bank. Some people don't put the bank zero by default and they patch one, just like this one, this little guy. So, uh, for example, we'll load um, real acoustic drums there. Okay, standard drum. And you know this guy do a patch one twenty nine. 29 on bang zero. I don't know why the fuck is that. Something player, fruity something player is one of the best because it load, um, you know, it, it loads stereo sound found. So this is a lot of sound found I downloaded on the internet. Well, I, I already made my own sound found called the Bejele. Okay, this is the where there. Uh, I am the Rizzler. The Bejele DX7 bass. The, the Bejele Lind drum and the Bejele Metallica Justice drum. So you can load the Metallica Justice drum. You check if the name is there. If not, you click there. Click Justice. Okay, so. This is the complete justice drum. This is really cool for that. Okay, you don't 
the cool, the really cool thing for for this, you can use that as well in um, Cubase using uh, third-party freeware sound from player just like found 1.2. This little guy there. So, so you got, already got the bass there, and also you can load, um, and add another instrument, an instrument track, and then you to uh, front 1.2 there, and then load, hit the load button, you got my favorite uh, sound font, I call it my sound font, where is it? My sound font's there, and I load uh, the Justice drum, which is uh, Metallica Justice drum there. Can play. Uh, when you use a third party sound front, it really increase the vel uh, not velocity, but the, the, the yeah, the release around maximum zone. There's a lot of um, sound from player VS freeware VST on the net. But this one, this little guy found one point to use really low CPU as the advantage to use low CPU usage. So, um, and also create <coughs> same sound font for the bass, Yamada bass, and of course another sound font for the uh, the Lindrum, my personal Lindrum, according for some kind of Lindrum Wi Fi. So I create a drum kit, my own Lindrum drum kit for uh, new wave guys like you. And you you know, you got with a cowbell. And I add to the around C5, C5, C6 to C7 key, the preset or drum, uh, special uh, preset, uh, Prince preset, it's like. That's what we can do, uh, Joe Como, the classic version, Joe Como from Devo. So. They call us that. Oh, you know, this is the song from Devo. People, maybe people know Devo. So this is uh, like a song from Kid. So uh, you have Lindrum, you got the DX bass, and you got the Justice Drum. From Justice for All Drum. You can add this one uh, freely or the Metallica and Pulse Repulse. Uh, Metallica Ultimate Pack in the FL Studio and drag sound from directly. So in Cubase, you have to you open found, send found first and load, and then uh, select the right uh, preset, right bank, and everything we go, we go okay. Uh, so if I can, I can, so I need to create a little bit. Got the double bass one just to the B, uh, B2 key, that the bass drum and do. We kind of play. So you can add a soft core as some reverb on it. So, uh, we got an insert reverb. Uh, more can sample reverb A. Okay, let's make more dry. So we can. Uh, so sequence, uh, that's in cool, that's something really cool with Cubase. I can uh, sequence really well with the metronome there. So uh, drum for cool, loop recording for well. I can add some uh, cowbell. Yeah, it's a, a clap, of course. And I can have some bass on. So this is really cool for the Cubase. And I switch it to FL Studio. I can do the same thing. But I really recommend to when you do a loop recording, do step sequence where we use for drums and bass. Loop recording using the piano roll in FL Studio doesn't work properly. When you hit the first bass, the first bass drum hit, it doesn't happen at the beginning of the 
I don't know why this is a fucking FL Studio. Maybe people, like someone, you guys can answer the question for that. So, oh, 10 minutes. So I gotta do it for that. So, um, I can do the exact the same thing. Do a metronome. And that's that. Do a sequence just like a real, real drum machine can do. So enjoy my sound found guys, we can download that on the link below, so enjoy, I hope you enjoy my sound found, use a new own project, see ya.